Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we're back with some Phoenix, but more traditional is it Phoenix rather than the uh, Grixis version that we were playing last time. So I've just realised these arts are incompatible, so let's swap those around. So yes, this is our um, our kind of more traditional is it Phoenix. So we are running the full four copies of Phoenix, as you'd expect, and the four copies of Treasure Cruise, um, newly newly added to the Arena client from Cards of Tarkir. Seven and a blue for for draw three cards, but has delve, so more often than not, not your customers for one mana. So a very good, uh, very good uh, card draw spell that uh, kind of perfectly slots into this deck. And then we are also running the Picot Prankster, which was in our Grixis version as well. So this is a kind of new addition to Phoenix decks, but uh, a powerful one. So this is a 1-3 Flying Vigilance, which is not so great by itself. But its adventure for one and a blue is mill four cards, then put an instant sorcery or fairy card from among them into your hand. So not only does this uh, fuel your delve, um, by putting cards in the graveyard, but it also uh, is an instant and sorcery by itself, puts phoenixes in the graveyard, lets you bring back instants and sorceries that you want to cast, so it's, you know, there's just some really good interaction there um, that works very well in this deck. And then we've also got uh, Ledger Shredder, so unsurprisingly very powerful. 1-3 flying, whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives. And then the rest of the deck is our classic is it spells. So we have our four copies of Consider, four copies of Opt, four Sleight of Hands, so our one mana cantrip spells. Then we've got a couple of counter spells, so a couple of spell pierces just to uh, just to help slow the opponent down if they're doing some broken non-creature shenanigans or they've got some mass removal or whatever it may be. Then we have our burn spells, so three fiery impulses, four lightning axes. Um, lightning axe, particularly the ability to discard cards, so get rid of our phoenixes from our hand is particularly good. One spike field hazard, and then one torch the tower, so this uh, can be very handy in uh, exiling any creatures or planeswalkers that are particularly problematic. Then we have a, a bit of a counter spell burn spell package, which kind of does all of the things. So we've got one copy of Is It Charm, so this can counter a non-creature spell, deal two damage to a creature, or draw two and discard. So it kind of has all kinds of uh, uses in this deck. And then one copy of Galvanic Iteration, so this is the uh, two mana instant from uh, one of the Innistrad sets that lets you copy the next instant of sorcery you uh, you cast. So particularly fun if you uh, get to Galvanic Iteration into a Treasure Cruise. You know, that's all, all any of us wants to be doing in life. And then one piece of the puzzle. So this is a three mana sorcery. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put two instants and sorceries from among them into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. So very good at getting phoenixes and other things into the graveyard. And then uh, giving us the cards we need to then bring them back. And also, again, fueling our treasure cruises. So I would normally be wary of running four copies of a card like Treasure Cruise. And you do have to be careful if your opening hand has like two of these stuck in there and nothing to do with them, then that's probably worth sending back. But uh, you do have enough going on that uh, you will reliably probably have enough in the graveyard to be able to cast two of these in a game. So that is worth uh, keeping in mind. And, you know, if you have excess, you can always just uh, uh, discard them to Ledger Shredder uh, activations or whatever it may be. So yeah, four is probably the right number here. Then we are really running 18 lands, just because we will kind of uh, cantrip our way through to the land drops we need. So Spire Bluff Canal, very important in this deck. Steam Vents, obviously. A couple of other dual lands, Pathways. And then we are running a Hall of Storm Giants, an Ottawara, and a couple of Islands, just to help us, uh, you know, basic lands are important in this format. Field of Ruin and things running around. And then a Hall of Storm Giants, just to give us an alternative win condition, if we are kind of stuck in a game's going long. So that's good. Then in the sideboard, we have our counter spell package. So we've got Aether Gust, we've got two Disdainful Strokes, a Negate, and two Mystical Disputes. Um, so those, uh, as we always do when we have the sideboards like this, we can just bring them in in various combinations against uh, different opponents, depending on what we need. We do all, are also running a Narset's Reversal, so this is very good against Delve spells, because they delve away their graveyard for something like a Dig Through Time. And then you just copy it, return the original to their hand, and you get the benefit, and they don't. Um, then we are running a bit more burn, so an abrade, and two brotherhood's end as mass removal. 
uh, young pyromancer so one copy of this in the sideboard just to bring in if we want to go wide where we're casting instance and sorcery so we might want to think about bringing that in against boris convoke and decks like that where we can kind of go toe to toe with their their kind of uh creature tokens one copy of Sahili, which does a similar kind of job in this deck, just creating lots of uh, lots of servos, and then a couple of crackling drakes. So if the opponent's playing graveyard hate uh, or anything that's particularly problematic for our phoenixes, then crackling drake is a fantastic alternative win condition. Will often be a kind of ten power, twelve power creature, so we can bring those in as well. So yeah, traditional is it Phoenix? Uh, not uh, no shieldreds in sight in this in this one. You'll be pleased to hear. But uh, yeah, let's see how we go on with this. Um, thank you very much for watching. As ever, hit those like and subscribe buttons. I think this will be the last video before the holiday period. Um, I am going to take a break over Christmas, so I hope you all have a restful, festive period and uh, and to enjoy whatever it is you're doing. And I will see you in 2024. But yeah, in the meantime, let's go onto the ladder and see how we go on with this. Okay, let's take the play. It's a no from me, I think. This is better. So I don't really want two phoenixes in my opening hand. Uh, we might draw a way to discard them, so... Maybe... I don't know, do I put one back? Ooh, that's tough. I mean, if we draw, like, is it charm? We're laughing all the way to the bank, but... Um, let's put one of them back, I think. Uh, or are we putting Consider back? Yeah, let's put Consider back and keep the two Phoenixes. I think this is a high-risk, high-reward hand. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I wish we got both of them, but... So let's pass the turn uh, with our Free the Fae adventure up. Looks like we may be playing a mirror match. Okay. Let's free the Fae. Ooh, choices, choices. Okay, let's take another sleight of hand. Okay, lightning axe is good. So let's play sleight of hand. Now we just need them to play something that we can kill. Okay, I'll take a galvanic iteration. Not sure we need a third lightning axe. Um... Am I playing Prankster here? Yeah, I think we can play Prankster. Hopefully they'll play something like a Ledger Shredder. Nope. Still nothing from them. But yeah, we are. Does look like a mirror match to me. Yep. Well, that's fine. I can be patient. Okay, well, let's Lightning Axe their Phoenix. Discarding one of our own. I'm fine to pass the turn. Fine.
So I would like to hit another cantrip at some point. Okay, that's a good spell, pierce target. Okay, spike field hazard is not great. I could play it as a land. Uh, I wish it was an untapped land, though. Uh, let's just pass the turn, I think, here. Hmm. Usually these decks go super aggro, but at the moment we're just in a bit of a staring contest. Okay, sure. Okay, they don't have the land they need to play Treasure Cruise at the moment, which is good. So I think I'm going to have to do this a slightly convoluted way. So let's discard a card to kill Shredder. Let's Galvanic Iteration, Spikefield Hazard them. Not ideal, but I would very much like one of my treasure cruises here. Yeah, my card draw spells are all hiding at the moment, unfortunately. like advantage to our opponent right now. Yep, they're going to get back three phoenixes. Yeah, they drew the treasure cruise and I didn't, so that was a fairly uh, comprehensive uh, outcome there. So I quite like Narset's reversal here. Mystical Dispute's good. Unlicensed Hearse. Aether Gust. Brotherhood's End is reasonable, actually. Um, okay, what am I taking out? So I like, obviously, like Torch the Tower. Shredder's good. Galvanic Iteration. Maybe a bit on the meh side here. Let's take out, yeah, let's take out Galvanic. Fiery Impulse is probably not great. Does kill Phoenix at instant speed. Uh, Picklock Prankster. Yeah, maybe that can go, actually. Oh, yeah, I won't put in Aether Gust either. Without Prankster, I'll trim a Treasure Cruise. Yeah, I think this is a decent configuration for the mirror. Hard to know what the right thing to do is, actually. I don't think Crackling Drake's the right answer. Too easily counterspelled. Yep. I like like having reversal against Treasure Cruise. It might be a little awkward to try and cast it. You know, we'll kind of be holding it up, waiting. But if we can make it happen, it's very funny. Hmm. Um... 
Let's open with a Spire Bluff Canal, just in case you want to consider. I think we're waiting for turn three for that. I like that they're all in on Fibblefip. Okay, another Spy Bluff Canal is fine. Okay, that's not terrible, so let's play Ledger Shredder. Now there's an interesting game of priority here. I think I'm just going to pass. See if they want to try and kill it end of turn. Yep. Go for it. Okay, so Lightning Axe means that they, it doesn't really matter if we... Uh, do I want the... I probably want the uh, Connive anyway. Yep, yeah, don't need all of this land. I will keep a fire impulse. So three cards in the bin, that's good. They've got two. They have a shredder of their own. is decent, so let's use Lightning Axe. Discarding Island. Now, they've got six cards in their graveyard, so I think this is probably a decent Treasure Cruise turn. I've got five. It's not the worst. Yep. No? Okay. Uh, so I could play my own treasure cruise here. I don't think I'm going to. There's no reason to play hearse yet either, so... Yeah, I'm patient. I'm a patient man. Okay. I enjoy how skill testing these games are. We're just uh, staring past each other at the moment. I wish they wouldn't hold priority for so long, though. They're not going to do anything. Yeah, I mean, if they want to activate their Den of the Bugbear, that's fine by me. Uh, could really do with some more land here. Maybe I shouldn't, yeah, I shouldn't have discarded that island. It's okay. Just pass the turn again. Okay. 
Okay. Sleight of hand. It's good. Yeah, I'll take a Hall of Storm Giants. Continue to be patient. Sure thing. So I'm now getting towards the point where I can... Okay, well, now I think we can play Unlicensed Turfs. Eat their phoenix as and when required. Start chewing away at their graveyard. Fair enough. You do you. Yeah, I'll eat that and the Shredder. Why not? Uh, now I can play it again. So I've got six cards in my graveyard, so I ideally want one more. Uh, sure. That's just... I mean, that does draw them a card, but... It's Lightning Axit, discarding our Phoenix. Now the shields are down, I think I am happy to just treasure cruise eating everything but our phoenix. Five, six, seven. It's not actually ideal in many ways, but uh, I don't have any targets for my uh, removal is the problem. Ooh, that is that is cheeky and not ideal. Um. So I can't spell pierce this, unfortunately, because they have just enough mana. Uh... Yep, looks like you can have it. God, this is an elaborate game of bluff, isn't it? Okay, let's... Send in the Shredder. Okay, that I will spell, Pierce. Sure thing. 
Well, that gets a dead fiery impulse out of my hand, I suppose. Well, is they going to eat my graveyard anyway? I'm just going to treasure cruise. Past the turn. I will discard Lightning Axe. Or will I? No, I'll keep that in case they have another crackling drake. Let's discard Fire Impulse. Uh, sure. It's not very interesting. So let's Impulse that. I'm going to eat it. So not yet at the point where I can start activating Hall, but hopefully it won't be too long away. So we've got 32 cards left, they've got 34. Drawing another Shredder would be nice, actually, because then I can start activating this. No, just another Treasure Cruise. So, three cards in bin. So, let's play Opt. Yeah, take a Consider. Keep working our way through these. Yeah, I'll take a Phoenix. Um... I don't really want to play it without two mana up, so although I could then just I could I suppose could mystical dispute their treasure cruise, but they might leave three mana up. Uh, so let's just play this. Okay, I can't, I've already played a land, so I'll just pass the turn. I think it's fine. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna to want to start. I don't know why they haven't been activating this, to be honest. Don't know what they think I'm gonna do. Okay, that's fine. So let's Lightning Axe that discarding Spike Field Hazard. Cool. Okay, yeah, we uh, we, we won the, uh, the elaborate game of Bluff there. So I think I want a Braid now that I know they've also brought in Hearse. Maybe this is just go wide instead. Maybe they're thinking I won't... Yeah, maybe they don't need Brotherhood's End, and neither do I. Yeah, let's run it like this this time. Let's do something a bit different, see if we can break the deadline. I realise I just submitted a 51 card deck there, didn't I? Oh well, never mind. That's why you should never sideboard too quickly. Opponent. Oh well, jokes on them when we both deck out and I've got one more card. Ha! So 
So no game three there, but we really did see the uh, intensity of the uh, is it Phoenix mirror match, but we did get there, so that's good. Um, uh, what am I putting back here? I think in the absence of Phoenix, I'm going to put back Lightning Axe for the time being. Oh, the opponent's playing Murphic. Okay. I can respect that. So we're not going to be countering anything this game. Rather frustrating that they're on the play, but... Let's play Shredder. Okay, well, they've got a Flash Lord, so... So let's play Shredder number two. Consider... Okay, just a Tied Binder instead. Don't need two cruises. That can go in the bin. Okay, it's all going reasonably well so far. I'll take the hit here. So I imagine they're deciding whether to flash in the Hex Catcher. They had a very good, very good opening hand. Um, that is very impressive. Yep. Old Hexy B. Hexy C. Okay, now, now, now I get what's going on here. Okay, so let's discard Prankster. That's not going to help us here. So we go to five. But... We do have enough removal. I'm not worried yet. This lightning axe, our old pally here. Yep, discard shredder number three. Let's treasure cruise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leaving in Phoenix. Um, how am I doing this attack? Hmm. They've got they've got at least another lord in hand. Nope, no attacks. Well, that's terrifying. Okay, well, that smells a lot like Collected Company. So let's pick Lock Prankster. Let's have back. Well, let's have another prankster, why not? Let's go again. Just 
discard Phoenix number two. Have Lightning Axe. Now let's target the Tushana's Tide Binder with our Lightning Axe. Imagine they will Coco in response. No? Okay. Yep. Okay, so they can blank one of our triggers here. Don't think that I don't think that's don't think that does anything to the phoenix itself while it's in the graveyard. But uh, so we still can't do any attacks, unfortunately. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, they really did have everything. Yep, that'll do. So, counter spells, apart from Spell Pierce, aren't really doing anything for us here, because they have Cavern of Souls. So, I like Crackling Drake, I like Brotherhood's End. Quite like a braid. I think apart from that, so what are we taking out? Uh, let's ditch a couple of lightning axes. It's a bit overkill for the creatures that they're playing. I don't think we need galvanic iteration. Is it charm is fine. Let's ditch a couple of pranksters as well. Yep, yeah, there is a reason why I think Merfolk is good, and this hand is not. This hand is much better. So I think I'm putting back a braid here. Cool. Okay, let's drop Ledger Shredder into play. I might have held on to it if I'd drawn a, uh, another land, but I didn't, so... Cool, okay, well, let's play Consider. Nope. Let's Torch the Tower. Killing that. Discard Phoenix. Play attack land. Okay, that's a pretty decent start, I think. And we do have Brotherhood's End on standby if we need it. So you're saying you've got a Tide Binder. Okay, so I'm just going to chill. Yep. Tide Binder into nothing is uh, not what you want to be doing. Let's pick Lock Prankster here. So that will then fuel. Um, interesting. Okay, let's go to attacks. Let's see what they do. Yeah, you know what? Go for it. So 
So they've tapped out here. So we'll have an opportunity to interact with anything they put down. Okay, let's lightning axe their realm walker here. Discarding Brotherhood's End. Bye-bye yeah, to you. So we are going to have to keep an eye on this Mist Cooler. So I think Brotherhood's End is looking like a good shout soon. Okay, that, that's annoying because it dodges our Brotherhood's End, but it's not a deal breaker. So let's play Brotherhood's End. Three damage to each creature and Planeswalker. Yep. Now let's just play a tap, steam vents, and treasure crews. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, ditch another land is good. Yep, that's a very good draw, so now we can attack. And I'm pretty comfortable that we can bring back our phoenixes next turn. Yep, have a map, why not? Live your best life. So they are dead with the power that we have on the board at the moment. You treasure cruise, okay. Well, let's open with consider. I'll keep that because it's fuel for my lightning axe. Now let's send a lightning axe at Chappy Chappy here. Um, yeah. Now let's just play another consider, I think. Le leave treasure cruise for when we need, if we need to fuel up again. Yep. Okay, here come the phoenixes. Yep. Well, that keeps them alive for a turn. Sure. Well, on that basis, I'm not going to attack, just in case I... Well, I'll play the Prankster as well, actually, just so I have some added defense. Because I am on 10 life, so, like, double Lord and things can get a bit dicey. Sure thing. See what I mean? You know, you have to keep an eye on the uh, what they're doing from the top of their library. Now, ultimately, I don't think it's going to save them here, but uh, yeah, I'll take this trade because the the phoenix is coming back anyway. So let's play Treasure Cruise, 
one blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play Opt. Discard Shivan Reef. Play another Opt. Yep, okay. Game three it is. Anything differently on the draw? I don't think so. Maybe I need... Yeah, maybe I'll bring in another Lightning Axe, actually, and take out a Crackling Drake, because I'm going to need to be... I need more removal, I think, when they're on the play. Yeah, two very skill-testing games. Quite, yeah, intense. Um, hmm. I don't hate it. I don't love it, because it's only got one land, but we have opportunity to draw more, so... No, I'm not happy to see that. Okay, they got rid of it, though. Okay, well, that's good. So, let's just pass the turn. Okay, looks like they're digging for land themselves, so... Yep, they found one. Okay, decent. So, let's Fiery Impulse that. Uh, that's sleight of hand, I think, here. Yeah, I'll take Ledger Shredder. And I think in that case I'll pass the turn. This two damage is not a particularly threatening plot. Yep, fine. So, ah, so I've got choices here, so I don't need Spell Pierce yet. But, so let's play Shredder. I'm fairly sure that they're presenting a Tishana's Tide Binder here, so I'm just going to pass the turn. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's kill their Mist Caller in response, I think, so they don't have the card draw ability of. Kumena online. Okay, so let's consider... Yeah, I'll take a Stormcarved Coast. Then I will opt, triggering Ledger Shredder. Uh, 
discarding Phoenix. Yep, that's a very good one to find. So let's torch the tower on their scout. Then I have Phoenix coming back with Spell Pierce back up for if they try and play Collected Company. Okay, I like that. No, nope, they're just going full merfolk. That's fair enough. Grand, I'll take three. Ooh, another shredder. But I can't play that without tapping out, and I'm not happy about doing that, so let's... Is it Charm there, Mistbinder? Okay, that's fine, I will just... Um... What shall I do in response here? I think I will abrade it instead. Get the shredder trigger. Discard. Oh, I think I'll keep lightning axe actually. Close game. Okay, that probably means no collected company, because I think they would have cast it when our shields were down if they had it. So let's Lightning Axe Kumena. Excellent. Now I think we're attacking 4 6. Okay. Yep, they have a Tide Binder. That by itself is not going to help them that much. Okay, two very interesting games there. I like those. It'll be quite long games in the end, but yeah, there you are. That was Is It Phoenix? Now my head hurts. God, I had to do a lot of thinking in those two games. I mean, it's a deck that requires a lot of thinking, but even so, that was particularly thinking heavy. Heavy thinking. I don't know why the server's been so slow recently. It's taking forever. Like, the game is running fine on my computer, but it's the server itself is just taking forever to load whenever you finish a match or... There we are. Okay, very good. So, that was Is It Phoenix? A good, a good couple of matches there, so thank you very much for watching. Here's the decklist one more time, and yeah, I'll see you in the new year.